Good evening, Ruskin Jewelers. I have done right because it's time for the predictions video. Yesterday, a few hours ago, all of these skins rotated into Rust Store, and basically, in this video, we're going to try and figure out which of these skins potentially might be the best investment for this week, which of these skins might help us walk away with some sweet, delicious looking profit. So, you go sit back and relax. I'm going to start yapping. So, out of all of these skins, what am I feeling most confident about? I'm looking at the Neon Vibes Sheet Metal Double Door. However, I have to get this point across. Whilst I'm very confident in it, to a point, I'm also very concerned about it. So I'm going to talk about all the potential positives and then I'm going to discuss all the negatives, all the things that might be a bit of a problem for it. So let's get started. This is the fifth skin to be accepted in the Neon Vibes Deplorable Collection. Very nice to see. And typically when we have a deplorable collection, when a new skin is accepted, we tend to see the pre-existing skins have a bit of a spike in demand and a spike in price. With the likes of this Neon Vibes Armored Door, it hasn't fully updated an SCMM properly, but if I go over to here on the Steam Market, as you can see, it's selling at a better price. It's almost at its Rust Door price. And for an Armored Door, that's pretty interesting, right? So basically, Armored Door skins don't really tend to retain their value very nicely, as of recent. But to see that getting pretty close right now, that's very nice to see. You can understand with new skins being accepted, there's a lot more momentum. So on the horizon, is there a potential that we potentially might see even more skins being accepted or rather submitted for this collection? And I believe, yes, it's right there. The, the, these two storages right here so back in november and december we had the likes of the large box and the small box being submitted as we can see over here stands out quite nicely pretty interesting design i was actually very surprised to see this wasn't accepted and then over here we even have the likes of the small box it might be a bit goofy for some of you but just understand this there's a lot of people that would definitely appreciate this whole set especially when you look at it all here that looks nice so i can't help but assume now that Diaz has just got a sheet metal double door being accepted, we're going to see some sort of update as a, as in like a version two for these boxes or a resubmission. It doesn't matter. So as long as you see at least one of them being accepted, yeah, the double doors right here will have a nice boost in demand and of course a boost in price. So that's another positive to be aware of. Also, just looking at all the sheet metal double doors right about now, can't help but assume that they're pretty okay. What do you mean? Well, if you go take a look at all of them right now, you might notice that every single sheet metal double door skin that's marketable is in the positive. Every single one of them. That's a nice thing to see. However, we do need to discuss some problems with sheet metal double doors right about now. More specifically, the skins, of course. This is the sixth skin to be accepted this year. Previously, well, last year, we only had two marketable skins being accepted, along with Twitch drops. And then, of course, the year before that, we had three marketable skins, of course, with Twitch drops again. So, what's the problem, Hedge? Well, these tend to be a bit of a rare sight, and yet this year we've got six already. It's only halfway through this year. It's becoming less special. That's a problem. So, back in February, when we had four of these being accepted in, like, two-week period of time... We were very concerned and we were very worried. And these skins, yeah, initially they were suffering a fair bit. But after about two months, suddenly they all went up in the positive. Things improved. But like most skins, they all improved once we're out of the Easter dip. And right now, many skins are rising up in price ever so nice. For like the Whiteout Collection, they're reaching new all-time high peaks. So that's cool. But what's wrong with the likes of this here then? Well, I have to get this point across. When we saw the likes of the Shadowborn Sheet Metal Double Door being accepted about two weeks ago, we did see some of these dip in price a fair bit. Because like I said, the more we see, the less special they become. I saw this reaching up to prices of about $5. That appears. It goes down to about $4.40 at one point. And when we saw this being accepted today, that went even lower. That went down to about $4. And this right here, this was cruising at around $4.20 as of yesterday. Now it's down to $3.50. I'm going to sit here and say... With the prices that we've seen dropping down on likes of these two double sheet metal doors, it's just a bit of initial reaction. I'm actually looking at the Neon Vibe sheet metal double door and thinking, I don't think it'll be selling that much. In fact, with all of these skins here, I can't help but assume it's going to be a very tame week. I don't expect big, strong sales across the board. I think it's going to be fairly quiet. I'm actually under the impression that next week will probably be a lot more crazy in terms of the picks i guess you could say what does that mean well i'll talk more about that a little bit later but basically with the likes of what we have here i think it'll be tamer i don't think it'll be selling as much as the likes of the shadowborn sheet metal double door because as you can see right there that did 21,525 sorry 21,524 subscribers what subscribers they're the bare minimum sales basically we know at the very least 21,524 individual people bought that skin we don't know how many they bought it could be one it could be 10, it could be 100, who knows, 
but we know at least at bare minimum 21,524 of them were bought by the individuals. Cool. With that only coming out about two weeks ago, I can't help but assume this probably won't be reaching up to that. Again, three dollars here, three dollars again. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, people who wanted a brand new sheep in a double door literally just got one two weeks ago, and that's part of a well, you know, established Shadowborn collection. People like that. The whole collection's in the positive at the moment. That right there, I mean, again, it's another big, bigger deplorable collection. We'll see how it turns out. But again, my expectation is it's probably going to do maybe ten to 15,000 sales. Again, this is like literally just the first few hours of looking at it. It's not going to be a good estimate. We have to wait a little bit longer to get a better estimate. But I just kind of feel like it's not going to be going as... It's not going to be selling as much as likes of this. Now, I also want to discuss another thing. The next concerning matter is the fact that when this was accepted and uh, we went through the whole situation, you know, that was abnormal. We did our abnormal borders. It looked very strong with the abnormal border support. I even bought 50 of them, all right? And I'm sure you bought some too. I did sit here and say, if we keep seeing more sheet metal double door skins being submitted by skin creators, we're going to be worried because, well, all the better for them to potentially get a skin accepted. Lo and behold, here we are. Another one was accepted. So we keep seeing more and more of these being accepted. They become less special. They go down in price. So this weekend, we've got to keep an eye on the workshop, don't we? Yep. Not that, well, not you specifically, but here, here. <laughs> we need to keep an eye on the workshop, and we need to see if other skin creators are going to be producing a ton of these sheet metal double door skins, right? If we don't see much, maybe we could feel a little bit more positive in regards to the likes of this and consider investing into it. Again, this skin right here, it's abnormal. It's going to become marketable at a set time. One o'clock in the morning, Wednesday night going into Thursday morning, UK time. I will be streaming. Look in the description of this video. You'll see all the links to my socials, most notably my Twitch. I will be streaming. I will be going over, based on the amount of sales it has by then, what I'm going to offer for this. And of course, we're going to do our abnormal barters, look at the support afterwards, and we'll consider if we actually want to jump in and buy some. If you go watch my video over here, my recent Ruskin Abnormal Barders from May 16, 2024, you'll get a much better idea of how it all works. It's pretty much very straightforward. So consider giving that a good watch if you're a little bit confused in, what, in regards to what I'm talking about right now. So that right there. There's a lot of interesting positives. There's a lot of interesting negatives. But you know what you can do? Nothing. You, you don't have to rush into buying it. By all means, if you like it, buy one for yourself. You know, buy it, use it, enjoy it, support the skin creators, keep them motivated, keep wanting to put a nice creative designs in the future. But as an investor, you don't have to rush. You can wait. You can wait until Wednesday. You can see how many sales have happened. You can see if any other skin creators produced sheet metal double doors over the course of this weekend on the workshop, which we just showed you over here. And then we can make a, you know, a good decision. Do we want to jump in? At the very least, do your abnormal builders first, then consider making a move. Sounds good. So play it safe, wait it out, and then, you know, consider making your uh, options. So the likes of that, it is a skin I'm confident in, but it can go either way. If we hardly see any sales, I feel more confident in it. If we don't see any other people producing sheet metal double door skins this weekend, I feel even more confident in it. But if the opposite happens, of course, the opposite reaction happens. Sounds good? Right, so we'll see what happens. That's all I can say. So let's move on to the next skins. What am I thinking is looking to be fairly reliable? What am I thinking I feel confident in? I'm going to sit here and say, by default, I look at both the Overheat ho um, Hoodie and Pants and the Black God Tier 3. Why? Because they're the beginnings of brand new collections, clothing and armor collections to be precise. So Overheat, for example, over here, this is selling for $1.49. Both of these are abnormal. We can wait until Wednesday and then we can engage them. You know, we can figure out prices we might want to offer them and whatnot. Hey, look, Flavortown. Ha ha ha. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be making jokes about that. But the likes, with the likes of this, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, all right, maybe it's going to be fairly tame with these as well. You know, I'm fine with it. You know, fairly recently, we've had a decent amount of hoodie and pants being accepted. So I think we're just better off waiting until Wednesday. Of course, you knew I was going to say that. Same thing applies to the likes of Blackguard. With what we see here, if we see any other continuation appear over this weekend, we can start the anticipation phase. That is where... We hope and wait and see if the next, you know, the skin continuations actually get accepted in the next Rust stores. Because if we were to see Overheat, Tier 2 or Hoodie and Pants or Blackguard, Tier 2 or Hoodie and Pants, well, I mean, 
yeah, it's going to spike in demand, spike in price. Um, did I say overheat tier two and tier three? I think I did. I didn't mean to say hoodie and pants again. Basically, you get the idea with core pieces, that being hoodie and pants, tier three and tier two. So as long as we see a new core piece being accepted, any pre-existing pieces that currently exist are expected to spike in demand, spike in price. It's a routine pattern that keeps happening all the time, regardless if the uh, skins don't even have that much demand, you'll still see a spike in demand. It might not last forever, but it still happens. So the likes of both of those clothing and armor pieces there, they are both in the exact same position. And you know what? If we just wait it out, because both of them are abnormal, see how many sales happen, we'll consider, all right, maybe we'll do a border first with the abnormal borders, then we'll consider if we want to jump into them. But let's say we see overheat, Tier 2 being submitted over the course of this weekend. And with likes of Black God, what if we see Black God hoodie and pants being submitted over the course of this ne uh, next weekend? Then yeah, we'd feel more confident in them. We'd consider offering higher prices. And if they are to be accepted, what did I say? Spike in demand, spike in price. So I'm optimistic that's going to be happening. I hope to see those collections continuing. We shall see. But the only way you're going to be fully informed if it happens is if you keep an eye on the workshop. Now, alternatively, if you look in the description of this video, you could also look at the likes of micro522.com. Just search by date submitted. You'll see all the newest skins, of course, based on date submitted. You can also see upvotes, downvotes, upvote, downvote, ratio and favorites and whatnot. It's up to you, but you will see all the newest skins being submitted over the course of this weekend. Just click by date submitted. You'll get the idea. I'm sure you understand. Cool. So I'm somewhat invested and optimistic for both these clothing and armor pieces but with the rest of these skins i'm not that confident in them now i'm going to talk about the likes of the blind shrug all right so what's wrong with blind shrug i don't hate it it's a cool idea and it had a lot of support i have to get this point across a lot of people really did like this again go to micro522.com if we search by score you'll see that it was very high up right 63 score overall that's really good Upvotes looking much better compared to downvotes, as you can see here as well. So why are you so concerned, Hedge? Well, I mean, a transparent rug isn't unique, okay? I'm not hating, but I'm worried people would be very hyped up for it right now, but as time goes on, suddenly it loses its luster, suddenly it's worthless. And again, I'm sorry, but I've seen this happen quite a lot with rug skins over the past few years. We used to not really see that many of them being accepted, and then suddenly we get a lot of them, and then suddenly they all kind of lose value for a while. And then after a while, they all rise up. Kelp Rug's been doing a lot better recently. Very surprised to see Damaged Tiles Rug is doing better. I don't actually have a solid reason for that. But in terms of transparent rugs, we've got the Spiderweb Rug back there, you know. We got that accepted back in Halloween. It sold quite a lot, yeah, but then it just instantly halved in value. That's not good. <laughs> so looking at this, yes, for role players, oh, mate, that's awesome. You know, I can imagine a lot of people would greatly appreciate something like that. Cool. I can respect that, but is it enough for everyone? Will that price retain? Because that's currently selling for $1.49. Oh, you know what? That's actually fine. That's the standard price for a deplorable. All right. Okay. No, 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 no that's good. That's good. Do you reckon we'll see any more rug skins potentially being accepted this year? Mm, well, we've had three, two Twitch drops and three marketable ones already. Uh, that was a Lunar New Year skin, Holiday Fiend, so that's obviously gone down in price. Respawn Allegro Refresco, wonderful piece of art. So I'm looking at this, <sighs> again, I'm sorry to say, you know what I was going to say, wait until Wednesday, see how many sales have happened and whatnot, but one thing we do need to consider, will we see more of this, will it probably, you know, would it probably develop into a deplorable collection? I don't know if it can, but I mean, I'd be surprised if it did, you know, so keep an eye on the workshop at the very least, look at these skins over the course of this weekend, and we'll see what happens, or if anything, you could go to the comment section and ask around and say, hey, um... What's going to happen? Um, are you going to be making any more? And maybe maybe some will respond. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you get the idea. So very nice skin from a query. We'll see if anything follows that. But just to get the point across, yes, that's the sun. Obviously, based on where this base was positioned, when you, see, when you look out the window with this rug over it, through the transparent slits that you see there, you can see the sun. It's not like it has the sun and it glows and whatnot. Just want to get that point across. Some people got confused earlier. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be keeping the interest forever. And I worry for it. And I worry about how many sales it's going to have. But I also think this is going to be a tame week. So maybe I'm maybe I'm overreacting a fair bit, all right? But I am concerned and I have seen many rug skins fail. It's unfortunate, but hey, we'll keep an eye on this, right? So just pointing out, I'm not fully confident in it. I can still see it potentially working out quite right, but I'm not fully there. So if you get that, cool. Right then, what am I not feeling very confident in as well? I'm going to sit here and say Volcanic Rock, all right? 
Now, I will, I will bring this up. We have had a recent glow in the dark rock skin, and that was the black, uh, the Blackberry Rock, yeah, down by 10%. Now, that's not too bad. It's only down by 10%. But if I show you every single glow in the dark rock that exists, so we've got the likes of Blackberry Rock, we've got Rock from Hell, scroll, 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 we've got the likes of Scarecrow Rock. Uh, I'm not going to point out Twitch drops. Do, 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 do. We got North Rock. Okay, that one's in the positive. That's nice to see. Then we have Acid Rock. Okay, slightly uh, glow in the dark. That's in the positive. Obsidian Rock, it's evens. Scroll, scroll. Rooted Rock. Okay, that glows, but it's not doing very well. It, actually, no, it's not doing too bad. Scroll, scroll. Pumpkin Rock, fairly old, up 7%. That's all right. Adventurous Rock, down 21%. Oh, dear. And now if I go down all the way to here... I don't really want to count this one. It's old and it doesn't really have that much in circulation. But hey, at the end of the day, it's sitting there at $6.64. It's a bit 50-50. I didn't even mention the moon rock right there, did I? It's 50-50, right? It's, it's, it's awkward. So yeah, that recent one, it's not down too bad. Only 10%. There's only 34 listings on the Steam market. That actually could be quite all right if it just had a decent amount of sales happen. But that... Well, that clearly is the problem. Maybe there's no interest in the glow in the dark rock. Do you want people to see you at night time? Well, there you go. Yeah, that's a bit of a concern, isn't it? So I'm looking at this and I'm a little bit hesitant. And someone made a joke earlier. Clearly, they accepted the volcanic rock because they're going to be adding a volcano biome later this year. Ha 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 ha. That, that's a joke. There's no confirmation on that. Look, just take a look at this Blackberry rock and see how it performed over the past like few months and well it's just been stagnant straightforward nothing really changed okay well i mean that's okay uh 18 sales in the past 24 hours that's okay all right okay well it probably won't rise up in price that much it might just retain its value that means we'll probably be better off sticking with just doing a buy order sounds good so Wait until Wednesday. That is abnormal. Just to point that out, that is abnormal. We'll wait until Wednesday. We'll look at the sales that have happened. We'll discuss, all right, do we see any continuations appear in the likes of the Rust Workshop over here? And then we'll consider prices to offer what we do on our buy orders. Sounds good? Right. So that right there, not fully confident, but it's still okay. But yeah, you can kind of understand that I'm still a bit hesitant. Rock skins in general, not always the best, unfortunately, as investments. But Maybe some people by default just think, oh yeah, that's cool. But Blackberry Rock was kind of similar anyway. So I don't want to fuss about that too much. Let's move on to the final weapon skins. Right. With the likes of both of the uh, Tiger Stripes MP5 and the Snake Bite SAR, it's awkward in two different ways. Gun demand. Are people super ecstatic to use an MP5 right about now? I mean, it must vary still with the likes of some people because some of these skins are still doing quite right. And then quite a lot of them aren't. It's awkward. I don't think people are fully interested in the likes of MP5 skins at the moment. Maybe they already have one that they like and they're more than happy to just use that one instead. So it's awkward. It's awkward. I'm looking at this brand new MP5, looking at all the recent ones that have come out. That one's doing all right. That one's not. That one's not. That one's not. And of course, we had a Twitch drop with the uh, adjusted aim sight. Now, again, if you're using hollow sights and whatnot, it doesn't matter. But it seems that quite a fairly decent amount of people do prefer one with an adjusted aim sight. So the likes of this, it's just a standard, perfectly normal looking MP5. <sighs> I think I'm probably just going to end up doing a buy order and that's it. This also isn't abnormal, is it? Nope, it's not abnormal. So we're going to look at that on Wednesday, discuss the price we might want to offer for it. But I think I will just be sticking with doing a buy order. Safest option. Snakebite SAR, take a look at all the SAR skins that have come out somewhat recently and uh, you might notice a bit of a problem. Out of all the skins that came out this year, 11 of them, only two of them are in the positive. Out of all the ones that came out last year, only three of them are in the positive. So, in total, for, for the past year and a half, we had 35 SAR skins, only five of them are in the positive. That's a bit concerning, isn't it? Hmm. So do you understand? I'm not fully into it. Now, yes, this is a developing collection. You have the sleeping bag, you have the uh, you have the hunting bow, and of course, we've got the SAR now. This isn't like a very strong looking collection. Plus, you know, you had the likes of the hoodie and pants attempt. Wasn't accepted. Unfortunate. But yeah, I don't think this is going to be holding up very nicely. I am concerned. I will sit here and say it is a bit goofy. It is a bit silly, but I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate it. Aim down the site. What do you see? <laughs> 
I think some people would appreciate a green looking sire, but I'm still not fully confident in that. So that very likely will just be a builder. It's also not abnormal as I pointed out earlier. So we have to really think, all right, do we actually want to buy some on Wednesday? Or are we just going to be complacent and happy with just doing a builder? Most likely it's going to be the latter. And then lastly, the likes of the Junkernaut bar. Well, we don't, we, okay. We didn't see a lot of bolt action rifles being accepted for about two years. And then we got both the likes of the Redemption and the Chameleon being accepted last year. Now, what happened was a lot of these older bolt action rifles, they went up in price quite nicely. They did very, very nicely with no other new competition. Now, these were also fairly in the positive as well. But these all came out during the 2021 era, offline TV era, when loads of people were playing the game. And of course, many skins got bought out a ton. So these were doing okay, but when, you know, after two years and finally seeing the first one being accepted, we saw the likes of Redemption Bar, suddenly these weren't so special. And of course, when we got the Chameleon one being accepted, yeah, they went down pretty bad. Now we've got this one, Junkernaut Bar. I don't think this is going to be having that much of an impact. I also don't expect it to be selling that much. So let's just quickly bring this up. Junkernaut Collection, over the past few weeks, we've had the likes of the MP5, the AK-47, and well, that only did about 6,000 subscribers. That only did about 8,500 subscribers. Uh, ugh. Prices? Ugh. Yeah, I know. So I just want to point this out. I understand the intention with the design. It's not supposed to look super flashy, super crazy. It's made out of junk. It's a DIY skin. It's battle scarred. It's got a theme to it, and Fuff did a wonderful job of it, but I don't think everybody in general is going to be appreciating that. So I am a little bit concerned. I don't really expect it by default to sell very nicely. However, however, I also must point this out. What's the cheapest bolt action rifle skin? Ah, hold on a second. That's interesting, isn't it? So we go do that real quickly. I can confirm that the uh, cheapest one is in fact... Oh, sorry, I went the wrong way. It's the uh, Dreamcatcher. Now, just to quickly point out, I do believe... This was consistently in the old loot boxes, so it's always been quite cheap. So if we were to follow that, oh, it's the Junkernaut bar. Hmm. Two dollars. Hmm. Maybe we could actually do a fairly decent buy order. Like if we tried to buy these for about a dollar and it goes down to like a dollar fifty, oh well, there you go. I can still sell it for fifty cents and make a decent profit. So that'll be for us to discuss a little bit more on the likes of Wednesday next week. But yeah. You can kind of understand that eh, something's there. It's just not really something I'm fully confident in. So, yeah, it is what it is. So it's not the most impressive week for investments. But like I said, if you like a skin, by all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it, support the skin creators, keep them motivated, keep wanting to put out nice creative designs in the future. But with the financial perspective, we've got to play it safer. We've got to be more cautious. All right. Understood. All good. Perfect. Right. So what were you alluding to earlier, Hedge? Twitch drops. So I brought up this video, didn't I? Um, yeah. So I brought up this video. If you give it a good watch, I talk about the strong momentum summer seemingly has at the moment. And when it gets to the point of Twitch drops, well, we have this tweet from Abe. Now, Abe was around during the original offline TV era, right? And if you don't remember, during that period of time in early 2021, Loads of people playing Twitch. More specifically, the big streamers. They had a big, interesting, like, uh, special server. All the big Twitch streamers were on it. It was the biggest game on Twitch for, like, two months. And we had a ton of people playing, and all skin prices just went <laughs> insane. Cool. Well, it's been three years since then, and we haven't really had anything similar to that. And then all of a sudden, Rust Kingdoms is announced for May 25th in about nine days' time. And based on some of the silhouettes and the people that we can see who are involved and quite literally who are sitting here saying that they're going to be taking part, we can now basically sit here and say, do you remember these Twitch drops that we brought up over the past few weeks? Well, you've got MP Lowell and you've got SFAND. You've got Iron Mouse here and her silhouette, well, if we go back over to here, it's just right over there. These Twitch drops are basically confirmed. You are going to see these skins as Twitch drops in nine days' time. We don't know all the Twitch drops yet, but these three here, it's basically confirmed. And the point I was trying to get across earlier, this is happening just before June Force Wipe. So, we're seeing an event set up by Face Punch, which, you know, just seems to potentially 
maybe bring in a lot of people to get interested into Rust just as the June Force Wipe appears. And what happens with a Force Wipe? We see tons of people playing. So please keep an eye on the likes of all the commits, all right? Oh, that's all. That's just SKS there. <laughs> but yeah, on the horizon, we're potentially going to be seeing next month for June Force Wipe, the SKS introduced as its own weapon, Radtown Redux introduced as its own monument, plus potentially we might see some other things such as Hood, hood and Cuffs, the Travelling Vendor, Loads of interesting potential things that will get a lot of people curiously wanted to jump in and see for themselves. Maybe we might have some form of bike introduced by then. I doubt it. I still feel like that might be for July. But hey, you never know. There's another two to three weeks which in, to which they can keep working on it and potentially have it ready. So we shall see. Point I'm trying to get across is the summer looks like it's going to really start off quite nicely. All right. Face Punch is going to have an, a big, nice event taking place to get a lot of people's attention. Force White comes out. The actual game itself will grab their attention. And then on the horizon, we also have a Spanish event. So all the Spanish uh, players and whatnot will be interested. So things very likely will kick off, kick off very nicely. We shall see. I hope that was all nice, concise, and straight to the point. I'm sorry if I rambled a bit, but yeah. I tried my best to explain everything. Stay positive. Please consider watching that video, though. Like, seriously, I do go on for quite a fair bit. It's only 12 minutes long, but you'll feel a lot more positive about everything. But just remember, if you want to sell your skins, do not sell recklessly, only sell reasonably. You want to ride the momentum, right? Don't try and block it, okay? Never unload all of your skins all at the same time. Just sell in reasonable amounts. And I do explain that a little bit more in this video. And so with that, thank you very much for watching me. I greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely weekend. Best of luck with you and your investments. Catch you later. See you and goodbye.